Hey y'all, so it is busy. Hi, so long. I need to drink something. Oh man, I should have changed my shirt. It's too late. I'm not doing it. Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing a book tag video. I've been saying I'm going to do a tag video forever and I'm finally doing one. So I'm so happy about that. Okay, so uh, did I say what tag I was doing? I am doing the Netflix book tag. So I absolutely love Netflix and I thought this would be the perfect tag video to do first. And if there's kind of a weird lot, it's my iPad because I'm reading the questions off of there and I am so sorry. I have no professional setup. My phone is recording. So yeah, but let's go ahead and get started. So question number one says, recently watched the last book you finished reading. The last book I finished reading was Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I loved, loved this book. It is the third and final book in the Illuminae Files trilogy and it was amazing. It was amazing and I read it, I mean the first half actually I read it pretty slowly but the second half I went through like with lightning speed so it's great. I strongly recommend everyone read the series and if you don't like Safa, I hate Safa with a burning passion. And I loved the series. There is nothing that I like about Safa except this series. I hate Safa shows. I hate Safa books. And even since reading this series, I thought, why don't you try another Safa book? I did, and I hated it. So, <laughs> I mean, maybe I should try more. Maybe that one I just particularly hated, but still, I love this book. So it says a lot about it if a person that doesn't like Safa at all loves this book. So check it out. It's great. The second question says top picks a book slash books that have been recommended to you based on a book you have previously read. So um, actually I had subscribers a lot um, when I first started on here. Um, they would tell me to read books based on the books that I was reading in my vlogs. Um, I do daily vlogs so if you're not daily vlogs anymore. Um, I upload a vlog about once a week just a reading vlog so if you would like to um, watch those and keep updated please subscribe to my channel. I got recommended a lot based on the fantasy books that I was reading and one of the books that I got recommended to read was A Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. So I have read this first book and I really really liked it. It wasn't my favorite book of all time but it was good and I do want to continue with the series. People say it gets better from the first book. Um, so yeah, I am definitely ready to pick up the second book in the series again. I have not started Crone of Midnight. Is it Crone? No, it's Crown. I say that all the time. Crown of Midnight. So, yeah. The next question, number three. Recently added the last book you bought. Okay, I bought several books on my last trip, but I'm just going to pick one at random. One of the books that I bought was The Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Pan. So I've heard wonderful things about this book. People have said it's beautiful and it just recently came out and I am very excited to read it. Apparently there's a magical element to it but it does discuss some heavy topics because um, the girl in this book, her mother committed suicide and you just watch her grieve and deal with that. So yeah, what? My brother came in. Yeah, but um, it, I don't know if I said this, but it is about a little girl whose mother committed suicide. Or not a little girl, I don't know. I think she's just, you know, she's a young adult. Um, yeah, and you just see her process this. Number four, popular on Netflix. Books that you, that, okay, books that everyone knows about. Two that you've read and two you have read or have no interest in reading. So I have to pick two books that I have read that everyone talks about in two books that I have no interest in reading at all that everyone talks about. So I'm going to start with obviously the two that I have read that everyone talks about. So one of them is A Court of Thrones. Oh, I said Thrones. One of them is A Court of Thorns and Roses. 
I love the series. This first book is definitely not my favorite, and honestly, the only good book, the only great book in the series, is the second one, A Court of Mist and Fury. The first and the third one are good, and I like them, but they're not like amazing grand books to me. Um, some people like all three books. They give it a five out of five stars. I personally, I didn't, but it's still a great series. I'm trash for it. And yeah, everyone talks about this series, I feel. So I have read this entire series. The next books I'm going to show you is The Upside of the Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. Um, I did not enjoy this book as much as everybody else did. I think I gave it either two or three. Um, that's an unpopular opinion, but it is just how I feel. So I am so sorry if this is your favorite book of all time. I know it's a lot of people's favorite books, but it just wasn't for me. So yeah. Now two that I have no interest in reading, one of them would be um, November 9 by Colleen Hoover. Um, I have heard some very bad things about that book and I have zero interest in reading it. I've thought about reading it just for the sake of having a book that I could possibly hate, <laughs> which I know is bad. That's not why you should read a book. Um, you shouldn't waste your money on a book that you know you're not going to like. But I also have thought I'm not going to like books before and I ended up loving it. So I don't know, but I have no interest in reading that. So I'm not, I don't think I'm going to ever. Um, the next book would be like The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks, Last Song. Basically any Nicholas Sparks book I don't like his books. I'm sorry if you do, but I am not a super cheesy romantic and I feel like all of his books are the same. I've read a couple of his books. I read A Walk to Remember and I read A Message in a Bottle and I know that's only two, but I mean, I've watched The Notebook once. I fell asleep the first seven times I watched The Notebook because I was so bored. I know that's awful and I know people are going to like yell at me probably, but I did not like those books, so I am sorry, but I did not like them. Number five, comedies, a funny book. Okay, a really funny book, even though I only gave this book a three star, a funny book was The Hating Game. I found myself laughing several times during this book. It was so funny, and this is by Sally Thorne, by the way. Um, I did enjoy it. I feel like a three is a good rating. I mean, to me, that just means that I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. It was average. You know, that's how I feel. But I still enjoyed reading it, and I laughed my ass off through a lot of it. So if you want a good laugh, read this. Number six, dramas. A character who was a drama queen. Ah, or king. I knew immediately who I was going to pick for this one. Evie O'Neill from The Diviners. Who else? This woman is so annoying. Could not stand Evie O'Neill. Partly because she's a drama queen. And drama queens just annoy me. So yeah. But she drove me absolutely batshit crazy in this series so far. I still have um, Before the Devil Breaks You to read. But I'm hoping she's not in it that much. And I'm sorry, I know that's probably awful. Sorry if she's like your favorite character, she just pisses me off so much. Number seven, animated, a book with cartoons on the cover. So I think this counts as a cartoon. Um, it, it is, I'm, I'm just being stupid. And that is Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. This book has a beautiful illustration. I just think it's so beautiful, the artwork. And I just love it to death. Francesca Zappia. She, she wrote Eliza and Her Monsters. That's one of my favorite books ever. Dolly. Number eight, watch it again. A book slash book series that you want to reread. I want to reread Stalking Jack the Ripper and Hunting Prince Dracula. And I will because um, Escaping Houdini comes out in September. So I plan in August to reread these two books because they are so good and I love them so much. It's one of my favorite series of all time. It's up there with like Illumine and all of just love, 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 love this series. Ah! <laughs> I just dropped my books. Non-documentaries, a non-fiction book you'd recommend to everyone. Okay, I have actually don't I actually don't read nonfiction, like, ever. 
so I'm gonna recommend a book that my mama loved and I'm sure I'll love because I listened to like half of it with her but that is Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham first of all my mom and I love her I mean she's Lorelai Gilmore and my mom and I are the real life Lorelai and Rory Gilmore so yeah we loved it so she's really funny and we didn't give it a rating because we don't agree with rating people's lives I mean I think that's pretty mean to <laughs> rate someone's laugh like I just we can't do that and we won't number 10 action and adventure and action-packed book I didn't even I didn't even have to think twice about this it took me one second to figure it out that is Illuminae yeah this bad boy is action packed oh my god action packed it's constant action from page one to the end it is bam 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 and every time I talk about this book I say bam a lot and I don't know why that is but I do it's a great great series and once again I'm recommending it again and the formatting is just so unique and cool I just love the formatting of this book so it's it's in case files it's it's so amazing but yes action-packed to the very last page 11 new releases a book that just came out or will be coming out soon that you can't wait to read I have this one Leo on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. I loved Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, and this is the second book in the Simon universe, or the, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be great, and I'm so excited because I loved Leah. I related most to her, so, um, yeah, because she's just so introverted and shy, and I don't know, I just related a lot to her, but I can't. I cannot wait to read this book. I can't wait. So that is the end of the Netflix book tag. Hope you all enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like this video, comment your answers to these questions or some of the questions if you'd like or just tell me what you're reading and I will talk to y'all later.